Hey everybody, so this is a video on how to torrent. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into the details of how these things work under the hood, uh, but I just wanna get you up and running and torrenting as quickly as possible. Uh, so what is and why should I use or care about BitTorrent? So BitTorrent is the most popular way to share files online worldwide. Um, I think worldwide it accounts for something like 30 to 40% of all internet traffic, um, especially in countries not like the US where we in the US we have Netflix but most countries don't um, pretty much their only way of getting files is using uh, BitTorrent uh, so why is this why is BitTorrent become so popular um, the main reason is because the typical model of how files are shared online is that you have a single uploader a person sharing the file and then you have a downloader or uh, somebody who's requesting to download the file so if you go to a website and download the f download a file this is the typical way it's just a single person giving the file to many others so it's just one to many but what BitTorrent does differently is it shares files in a web so instead of a single uploader you have hundreds of uploaders and those uploaders are all distributing the file in a web to each other and even more than that, even while you're downloading a file through BitTorrent, the pieces of the file that you have already downloaded, you're, you're even sharing those sub pieces with other people currently downloading it. So it's just this very efficient, huge web of data, distributing data to other people. Um, so you can find most movies, shows, music, and books, and audiobooks online for free with torrents. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything like Netflix. There's no reason to pay for bits of information. Um, once a file is seeded by even just more than two people, maybe, um, it becomes pretty much impossible to take down. Uh, a lot of people, if you use streaming sites where you just go to a website and watch movies, you've often found that that site has gone down and then you've had to find a different source for that movie. Well, with BitTorrent, because there are many people sharing the file, it doesn't matter if one person goes down. Many other people are sharing that file too. So it becomes pretty much impossible for uh, uh, the U.S. to take down completely. So, so how do you do it? So the first step you want to do is get a VPN for protection. Um, your ISP, your internet service provider, is watching everything you download, every bit, every site that you go to. And uh, they um, have clamped down on file sharing in a huge way. Um, and one of the things they'll do if you do not use a VPN when you torrent, you'll get a warning email from your internet service provider telling you they don't like that you're downloading this. And uh, sometimes they'll send you a, uh, or they'll just shut down your, your internet access and tell you that you need to agree to not share this file anymore before they'll turn your internet access back on. So there's only like three ISPs in the US. Do not trust them. Uh, you, yeah, do not trust your IP. You definitely wanna hide your traffic from them. Um, I have a video in this that I'll share. I'll share this file with this video that's has a bunch of good links but here's one on how vpns actually work but the long story short is that they are basically this hub that all your traffic goes through this hub and your communication to that hub is secure and your isp can only see that you're talking with this one hub and they cannot see what uh, sites you're going to so it's really convenient at hiding your traffic from your isp uh, your next step is to download a torrent client. Um, my favorite is Qubit Torrent, but there's a few others. Um, there's even ones for like Android. Um, so here's Qubit Torrent. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, so it works for pretty much every platform. So you want to get you want to download that and install that. Um, as far as finding a torrent search engine, uh, one of the ways that the U.S. has gone after torrenters is to try to take down how people discover torrents, so take down torrent search sites. So the best thing I can recommend is just use Google and Google something like best torrent sites of 2018 or whatever this year is. Um, so here's the first site I found and here it's listing a bunch of pretty popular torrent sites that have been up for a while. Um, 
So my two favorites currently, at least, there's no guarantee that these will be working in this year that you're watching this video, but are iDope and Leet X. Um, the next thing you're wanna, gonna wanna get is a media player, and VLC is a really good one. It's really popular, it works on Windows um, and Mac and Linux. It's just a very good solid media player. So let's assume that you have a media player and a torrent client installed and your VPN's running. You should see some little lock around your Wi-Fi or something like that. Then let's say I wanna watch Black Panther. So I go to LeadX and here's all the results. There's a lot of different files. Um, here's one with 28,000 SE, means cedars here, and leechers. These are always sorted by cedars because the more cedars there are, Cedars means uploaders. That means people who have fully downloaded the file and distributing it to other people. Um, that means the more available it is. This Black Panther has 28,000 Cedars. That's a lot. So let's click it. And you'll, always see, you'll see this little magnet. That's the one that you want. I don't need to get into what that is. but So I'll click it and I'll see this window pop up. And it's asking me where I want to download this file to. So let's say I want to download it to my videos folder. And here it's showing what I'm downloading. So it's this folder and these files. So I'll click OK. And here's what the window looks like. And it's showing the total number of seeds, the number of seeders I've connected to, my download speed. So it takes a, maybe a few seconds to get started up and connected to a bunch of seeds. Um, but then it'll get started going. Um, then with uh, Qubit Torn, a really nice feature is you can right click and click download in sequential order. So normally torrents will just download the most highly available pieces of that torrent. But if you click download in sequential order, it'll download them in the order that the movie would play. So now I don't even have to wait for this torrent to finish downloading. I can just go to my file system. There's the folder. and I can just start watching this movie right now. I don't have to wait. Um, so I'll go back to the torrent client. So the smart thing to do is once it's done downloading, leave your torrent client open. That's what keeps this whole thing going is that there are many people uh, willing to distribute it for, for no reason other than just being good Samaritans. Um, that's kind of what keeps uh, the entire network of BitTorrent running. Um, but let's say I don't have much space on my computer and I want to get rid of it. So I'll right click, click delete, and I'll click also delete the files on hard disk. So they're not going to be on my hard disk anymore. There we go. So it's clear. And that is pretty much torrenting. Uh, the next steps I'd say are it's really nice to get a media server like Plex for a Netflix-like experience. Um, Basically, you'll have this running on your computer. You'll point it to the folder on your computer that has all your media, your movies, TV, music, and photos, and things like that. Then it'll work with things like Apple TV, your Roku, your Chromecast. Uh, it works on every platform. But it does really nice things like it'll remember your last position that you were at in the movie. Let's say you got only an hour through the movie. Um, if you're watching shows, it does really nice things like organize it into nice little seasons and stuff just like Netflix. Uh, once you're done watching an episode, it will it has that little thing that 30 seconds, it'll automatically start the next episode. Um, it, it'll know your progress on seasons of shows. So it's just like a really nice way to watch, to like consume the media besides just a simple media player like VLC. Um, the other nice thing, uh, to have would be a remote controller for your torrent machine uh, for your phone. Um, oftentimes it's not ideal to uh, torrent on your phone. It's better to have a dedicated computer or just or just any computer really and have Plex and your torrent client like Qubit Torrent running on there. Then you can set up what's called a, a controller where if you're on your phone and you find a movie or something that you want to download, you just click that magnet link like I did before when I was on the computer, but you'll click it on your phone and instead it'll load up this controller. So you connect this to your 
to your home qubit torrent instance and it'll show all the torrents that it has downloading it's basically like a mirror of what's on your computer so it's it's not absolutely necessary it's just if you want to add and control torrents from your phone um, that are from a client running on your computer okay i think that's pretty much everything hope you guys enjoyed it have a good one <laughs>